OMG. This the one, not the two. Are you dumb? It reminds me of Cash Doll's hair. If you know anything about Cash Doll, do I listen to her music? No. Do I know how she be wearing her hair? Yes, because her hair is so freaking bum. Like when I tell you, her hair be laid. The smell of your perfume. I thought I was immune. Looking around this room. See the traces of you This moment is surreal I can't put in the words how I feel Twin What's up for crew and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video. In today's video I'm super excited because today we are revisiting the Sensational Curls Kinks & Co collection. They are releasing three additional styles and if you want to be up to date with the new Sensational releases definitely tap into my recent video where I talk about all of their new synthetic wigs coming in April 2024. So today I'm going to be reviewing the 13 by six kinky blowout 20 inches this is the style that really spoke to me but there's two other styles that they're coming out with so let's briefly discuss that they're also coming out with kinky edges 13 by 6 kinky natural wave 14 if you are interested in that wig definitely check out charisma's video after watching her video i felt like i don't need this style just because the curl pattern is really nice but the kinky edges really don't make sense but if you want to see what that unit looks like definitely check out her channel and then the kinky edges 13 by 6 kinky blowout 12 inches so I also picked up this unit that will not be in this video but it will be coming soon a part of my Bob series so if you want to see that review definitely make sure you subscribe join the core crew family and don't forget to watch episode 1 and 2 of my, my Bob series before that episode drops before we get into today's video though if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT hey girl hey my name is Courtney Janine I do all things hair on this channel but I also have a lifestyle channel called Keeping Up With Courtney, where I do more lifestyle videos like vlogs, hauls, all those sorts of lifestyle content that you might enjoy. So if you're interested in that, definitely go ahead and subscribe and join the Core Crew family over there. We hit our milestone of 500 subscribers, so thank y'all so much for subscribing to that channel. I know I haven't been the most consistent since I started that channel a year ago, but I really want to um, try different types of content pieces on that channel. So thank you for joining my community over there as well. But with that, you guys, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video today's unit is the 13 by 6 kinky blowout 20 inches i picked her up in the 1b if you all are interested in the colors i would definitely check out miss chrissy's video she recently did a video um not on this unit but it was a another style from this collection and she showed it in three different colors you guys i was absolutely stunned in that video because each wig even though it was the same style it was just in different colors each wig she said had a different texture had a different amount of volume so definitely make sure to watch other reviews if you um especially want are not interested in like a natural color because she tried like a natural color and then she got two specialty colors so that's just one thing to know especially if you are interested in this unit but want to see it in another color i would highly suggest watching her video because it kind of shows the unit in different colors which i think is interesting how they didn't have the same texture or whatever but this is the unit that we're going to be discussing discussing today before we jump into the unboxing let's go ahead and talk about the key features of this collection so it comes with a 13 by 6 hg lace that can be parted in any direction this is important to note that this unit is not supposed to be pre-plugged i know when i reviewed the kinky body wave 18 i had to pluck that unit because it didn't come pre-plugged so that's one thing to just remember if in case i feel like a lot of 2024 wigs often say that it's pre-plugged but this one does not kinky edges that match hair wear kinky edges as is or press with hot comb for less texture and it's a glueless with elastic wig band so you guys let's go ahead and unbox this unit because I can hardly wait to see what this unit looks like because I don't know if I've just been really hyping this unit up but I'm so excited about this unit so let's go ahead and see what it's giving straight out the box I kid you not if you actually do have a girlfriend <laughs> Oh 
Okay, you guys, before I try her on, let's talk about this lace, you guys. These edges are so freaking gorgeous, you guys. This is the type of texture. I am learning, well, I always knew this about myself, especially with the kinky edges. I am probably going to stick with the styles that have a little bit of still kinky, but like straight. That's why I feel like the natural wave style wasn't really catching my eye, but I'm super excited about this. So this is the 13 by six frontal. You have a lot of parting space. I think I'm gonna go for a side part similar to how the stock card is and then you have a elastic band what I think is really interesting a lot of times with synthetic wigs the elastic band does not have like any way that you can adjust it but this one does so that's really nice and then you also have some combs throughout the unit as well as an adjustable strap in the back so I am going to just grab a um what are they called I'm gonna grab a wig cap before trying this on oh MG. This the one, not the two. Are you dumb? No. No, 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 no. Okay, do I want it on this side or do I want it on? <sighs> I know exactly what this is reminding me of. Um, no, I think I want it on this side. Anyways, um, right, you guys, this is the unit straight out the pack. A couple of thoughts. So I mentioned this, but this unit is not pre-plugged. So I'm definitely going to go in and plug her just a little bit more. The kinky edges die, does really help in terms of like, not it helps with pre pluckness but I will be using the edges. So I'm going to not pluck the edges as much, more so the hair behind the edges, if that makes sense. So I'm really feeling this hair. I really love the layers in this unit. It's a very natural density, but it's still, it's like my type of natural density where it's super duper full. I love this unit and what it's reminded me of especially as I was like trying to decide which side of a part I wanted it reminds me of cash dolls hair if you know anything about cash doll do I listen to her music no do I know how she be wearing her hair yes because her hair is so freaking bomb like when I tell you her hair be laid that's what it's kind of giving me it's kind of giving me that sort of essence which I am obsessed with like literally well um okay guys so those are kind of my initial thoughts I'm gonna go pluck this unit since I'm doing a side part I'm really going to focus in on my plucking right about here like from around here to here um everywhere that it will be noticeable and yeah I really am feeling this unit the texture I really love in terms of the kinky edges sometimes when I pluck I feel like I felt this way um the last unit that I tried looks a little bit more natural when I pluck out a little bit of the baby hairs but all in all I'm really obsessed with this I already knew that I would be obsessed with this so I am super excited to like fully install her and give you guys my thoughts because I know we I'm talking about the core crew we really be on the same wavelength about these units so I know since I'm super excited about this unit I know y'all are just as much so I'm excited to get this review out for you guys and yeah you all I'm probably gonna do a ghoulis install similar to how I installed it my last yeah just review so if you haven't seen that one definitely check it out I'm excited to see like which one I like more but as of now I love them both I'm gonna go pluck and and I'll see you guys in a few for the install process. Let me know if y'all want an updated like plucking tutorial because I haven't done one of those in a minute and that might be interesting for you guys. But y'all let me know. I'm gonna go pluck my life away while watching some Real Housewives of Potomac. And I'll see you guys when I'm back from the install. Bye! And that's nuts, just open up my phone and it said it needs space So I hop on the four flat and I'm speed racing I just switched to only OGs, it alleviate All your friends' fans with names that they abbreviate And I don't like that, you know I like thoughts I'm about to pull up on the field with some white cross, baby Expensive taste, these girls got expensive taste Trying to hold my weight, but I don't really got the patience Up and down, make the tripling break And that ain't no makeup, she got a Maybelline face I'm a champion, babe, I don't even need a break Left the frog and I thought she sound like a need a
All right, core crew, here's the completed look of the Sensational Curls, Kinks, and Co. No, Curls, Kinks, and Co. Curls, Kinks, and Co. Unit in the style, 13 by 6 Kinky Blowout 20. I have some thoughts, so let's go ahead and get into it. My first kind is the same as when I tried another style from this collection. I really think that this collection could benefit from being pre-plugged. I know it doesn't mention it on the stock card at all, but I feel like if this was pre-plugged, just, and it's a little bit pre-plugged, naturally just because of the way they do the kinky edges, but like, if the hair was pre-plugged, not the edges. You know, if that makes sense. But I feel like this collection could really be for the girls if the pre-pluggedness was just a little bit tighter and more intense, okay? Next thing I will say, this unit is absolutely gorgeous, but one thing, it does snag a little bit, you guys. As I'm putting my fingers through it or my hands through it, and that's how you know I really like a unit if I'm always touching it. But as I was like styling the unit and like just trying to get it to that perfect place for me, I did feel just a few a snack so this hair will tangle you guys which all synthetic wigs do eventually but this one is doing it just straight out the pack which I have to mention and I also think that this is a kinky blowout but when they say blowout you know how the Dominicans be blowing out your hair and then you go to like wash it and your curls not coming back that's kind of what this kinky blowout is giving it's not giving super duper kinky okay it's not giving um 4C hair yeah this is supposed to be for curl types 3B to 4C it's not really giving me 4C okay this well it's giving me 4c if you went to dominicans okay but it's not super textured it's not super kinky it's not one of those you know kinky or yakky units where you could see the, the crinks and the the crumps in it no this is a very like blowout texture like it gives dominican kinky dominican blowout okay so that's just one thing to note and i feel like that does play a part in the fact that it's like snagging a little bit because it's not i don't want to say it's a silky texture but it's close okay it's not super like if i was if this is silky and this this is yakky. I mean, if this is silky, this is kinky. It's it's in the middle, right? But it's leaning a little so it's leaning to the silky side just a little bit more, right? Just a little bit more. It's leaning to this side just a little bit more okay pros you guys this unit is such a layered girl's dream like the layers cut into this unit are beautiful i did cut just a few not a few more i just like intensified the layers that were already there so i did go in and cut especially like this bang area i cut a little bit because um i wanted it to just pop a little bit more and i cut this side to frame my face a little bit but other than that you guys the layers on this is absolutely gorgeous i am someone who loves layers i feel like it helps to make the unit look a little bit more fuller and it also just gives a really pretty look so i love the overall style of this unit i love how it's a 13 by 6 you guys so you're able to really get a lot of styling versatility with this unit i feel like more and more people are looking for units that they can get multiple styles wears out of and this unit does that trick okay i absolutely love the kinky edges i'm gonna turn to the left so y'all can see them i am someone and um if you are someone who loves like not the super gel down like i've never Never been I never really mastered the gelled baby hairs looks and I think that's why the kinky edges appeal to me just a little bit especially with styles like this and I'm gonna get into like my overall like thoughts on the collection because I've now tried two different units but what I was saying is this sort of collection is for those who never really mastered the slits in baby hairs okay the baby hairs on this just look super duper natural wispy if you will and that's always been my top type of speed is those type of wispy um baby hairs very very, like super natural I don't want to have to like slick them because honestly I barely be slicking my own edges okay so this just feels a lot more natural so overall I absolutely love this unit and I do recommend it out of the two I think that this is more my style I feel like they're both my style though I think I'm liking this one a little bit more because you guys know at heart I'm a side Part girly but they both are freaking bomb in terms of my opinions about the overall collection now if this collection wasn't just kinky edges because I mentioned this in the beginning they're coming out with three additional styles this is just one of them I will be reviewing the kinky blowout 12 inches a part of my bob series so again make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss episode three and if you haven't watched episode one or two definitely catch up but I feel like this collection should be called it says texture lace wig but it should be texture edges I don't think it should be called kinky edges and the reason why is because I think that kinky edges make sense for these kinky blowout styles or the um, kinky body wave or the kinky straight but when you're having units like the natural waves kinky edges don't make sense okay so after seeing reviews of like the natural waves it really does solidify my opinion about this collection as a whole is that it the kinky edges work the kinky edges work when it's 
kinky styles. If it's not a kinky style, girl, let's let's go back to the drawing board. Let's do edges that match the texture of the hair. That's the only point about the kinky edges is the fact that it matches the kinky hair, okay? So if you have a wavy style, let's have some wavy edges. Um, so that's my overall opinion about this collection. I really want to applaud Sensational, you guys. They are doing such an amazing job. I've been really like living for these new styles, these new collections. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've tried this collection. I feel like the first three really sold out, especially in the natural colors. And even when I tried to pick this one up, like I usually go for a number two as of recently, but that one was all sold out, so I went with the 1B. But I really love how this unit looks, and I am super excited to hear you guys' thoughts about this unit. So sound off in the comments. Let me know if you're picking her up. And again, you guys, make sure to stay tuned because I am going to be reviewing the 12 inches. And I have high hopes because this is already giving. So imagine it just a little bit shorter. Like, it's gonna give. Like, it's gonna give. So let me know if you tried this unit or any of the Kinky Edges units down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.